The United States has successfully conducted trials of a newly adapted TRV-150 unmanned aerial vehicle, now equipped with the APKWS Precision Guided Missile System. Unlike its earlier logistical function, the drone now demonstrates effective engagement capabilities against both aerial and terrestrial threats. According to BAE Systems, which developed the APKWS technology, this marks a significant milestone in deploying affordable, multi-role drones to frontline units. The Marine Corps led the recent testing phase, during which the modified TRV-150 showcased its capacity to neutralize targets in the air and on the ground using laser-guided precision strikes. The TRV-150 platform traces its roots to the UK-developed Malloy T-150 drone, originally intended for short-range cargo delivery. Through engineering adaptations, the drone now operates as a cost-efficient attack system, capable of precision engagement previously reserved for more expensive military assets. The APKWS, Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, re-engineers the traditional Hydra 70mm rocket, integrating a semi-active laser seeker to transform it into a guided munition. A key enhancement for its air-to-air -air role includes a proximity-based fuse system, allowing the warhead to detonate near its target even if a direct hit is not achieved, a feature that greatly enhances its use in intercepting drones or low-flying aircraft. The TRV-150 has officially entered service with the U.S. Marine Corps under the TRUAS, Tactical Reach Unmanned Aircraft System, program. Its developers view this integration as a critical leap forward in modern warfare, offering flexible options to address fast-changing battlefield threats. Delivering a drone that can handle both air and ground threats at medium range represents a turning point in combat capabilities, said engineers involved in the project, emphasizing the benefit for both U.S. and Allied armed forces. This demonstration highlights the rapidly evolving role of heavy lift drones not just in UK service but also across Allied defense sectors. The drone was originally capable of hauling up to 68 kilograms of supplies. It later saw testing in explosive ordnance disposal operations and has now proven itself as a precision strike platform. Upcoming upgrades aim to increase its payload limit to 300 kilograms, alongside improvements in autonomous flight and advanced targeting software. Meanwhile, the U.S. Air Force has also revealed deployments of F-16 fighter jets outfitted with six LAU-131 slasher rocket pods, compatible with the APKWS system. Despite earlier plans to supply 20,000 of these missiles to counter Iran-backed Shahid drones in Ukraine, the Pentagon recently redirected that shipment to bolster assets in the Middle East. These developments collectively underline the growing importance of modular weapon systems and multi-role drones in shaping the future of aerial combat.